Hey, what's up guys? It's more project time. <laughs> oh my God, I love these projects. All right, so these bottles I got on eBay and uh, these are Victorian perfume bottles. I have them laid down right now. Actually, let me stand them up for you so I could show you the detail. All right, so the seller wanted, he was selling both of these. He wanted $75 for this one and he wanted $45 for that one. And uh, there was no way in hell that I could afford that. And so I was like trying to do the art of the deal. I guess I was trying to play Trump. And uh, I was able to convince him to sell me both of these bottles for $25. I don't know how in the hell I did that, but I did it. So these Victorian perfume bottles are really, really gorgeous. They're crystal. I don't know if you could see the crystal. And this one I love because it's zipper cut. And I collect zipper cut glass. I don't know if you could see that pattern. And then this one has a really unique pattern as well. Like right in the center, I don't know if you could see that. It has this pattern and then it has this pattern on the bottom with zipper cut glass. And then this pattern on top with uh, this lovely, lovely like diamond cuts going through it. Now this is the problem. Look how black the tops on these perfume bottles are. Now these are sterling silver from what I think I see here, I think it says sterling, but they're black as the ace of spades. So what I'm gonna have to do is get a Dremel because I don't think I'll have enough elbow grease in the world to um, actually do something about these bottle tops um, by hand. So I think I'm gonna have to put a wool chamois attachment or felt attachment to my Dremel with polish and try my damnedest to get all this black off. And this is gonna be even harder because it's filigree it's uh, very, very hard to get um, in those nooks and crannies. So take a look at these bottles before. Let me show you. So before, and let's see what we can do for an after. I'm hoping, I'm praying. <laughs> All right, so remember them as is, and let's see what happens. So I got my Dremel and yes, I'm doing it over the sink because every time I've done this before with the Dremel, it splatters everywhere. <laughs> so all the tarnish and the uh, liquid from the polish just, I mean, splatters in every direction. And it's a very, very messy, messy job to do. So I'm going to show you some of the polish. I'm going to use two different kinds of polish to check out and see if we can get this tarnish off. Weeman silver polish or, and don't mind the, uh, Hor horrible too, but I use this a lot, or flits. First, I'm gonna go with the Weeman's Silver Polish. So I'm gonna put a little on the tip of my chamois. Now this is soft, this is a soft pad. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is uh, made out of wool and felt. And uh, it's soft and I wet it just a little bit. I know it's not a good idea to wet it because then it'll not give it as much resistance, but I'm gonna squirt a little bit of this on the tip and we'll see what happens. All right, stay tuned. Now I have it, um, if, if you look, I, I put the uh, polish just a little bit on here. I have it on the lowest, lowest setting and it's going to get loud. All right, you ready? And look guys, the black is coming off. See, it's coming off. I wish I had better focusing on my camera. Let me see if I can uh, focus it better. All right, see that? See how the black is coming off? Wait till you see the Dremel. The tip of the Dremel is black. All right, so I'm gonna to continue to do this and I'll show you what happens at the end. Stay tuned. I just wanted to show you some of the progress. 
The Weemans is actually really doing a good job. The Dremel is my savior. All right, so look at that. Isn't this insane? I got a lot more work cut out for me. But, uh, yep, the Dremel, again, on the lowest setting possible. I'm not pressing too hard on it because I don't want to damage the metal. But I'm starting to be able to see the marks now. So, okay, let me continue to do this. So I just started on this one. And this one, if you see, like, the silver starting to shine. And then I got the center cap. And we're starting to see an initial, which is really cool. So this is like excavating. It's like archaeology because you'll never know what you're going to find when you polish off this metal. So, all right, I'm going to continue to go. You see how it's starting to get silver? It's starting to actually look like silver in certain spots. All right, guys, stay tuned and let's see what happens. So that just took a hell of a lot of elbow grease. Oh, my goodness. All right, look at it, guys. It's shining. Remember how black and tarnished they were? You couldn't even see the marks. Now I see marks. Actually, let me hold this one up for you guys. And I scrubbed the glass. I cleaned the inside of the bottle. I had special bottle cleaners for these uh, long, skinny bottles. And look at that. Look how it shimmers. And we have a mark. I don't know what that stands for. I have to look it up. I wonder if that's Gorham. Gorham, I think they call that. I don't know. I have to look it up. I think it's American Silver. But look at that. I'm going to pop up the top. And it was missing the original stopper, so I had some corks. So I replaced it with a little cork. But look at that. The Dremel, guys. I'm telling you, if you need to uh, shine up these old, like, uh, silver top bottles or even any kind of silver or brass or anything um, that's tarnished, get those felt uh, wool pads that attach to the Dremel and just put some polish on it. And you, you know, you're going to spend some time. I'm not going to lie, but it's a lot easier than if you do it by hand. So that's one down. Let me show you the other. Actually, again, I'm just like so pleased with this. <laughs> I'm so pleased that how beautiful this came out. All right. So let me show you the other one. I like the big one better. Of course, bigger is better. <laughs> Don't let them fool you. And uh, this one has actually a prettier pattern. So I cleaned um, the glass bottle out. I scrubbed it. I abs absolutely scrubbed it. There was old, uh, like, uh, sticky type of residue inside there. And look at the top. And we have our marks. And it looks like American. And then um, I got all that black and tarnish off. And it turns out that this has an initial on top. And it's the letter. Actually, oh, no. <laughs> this one is our one with an, with an initial. It has the letter E. My daughter's name is Erica, one of my daughters. <laughs> I'm sure she'd like to get her mitts on that bottle. So look at this, guys. Look how this is shining. Look at these two. So, yep, good old Dremel. So let me just pop the top and show you. So, of course, it was missing the stopper also. I replaced it with a cork. And that's all she wrote, guys. So once again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys all soon. So long.